Hey everyone, this is Johnny O'Nose, and I'm playing My Summer Car, and in this Let's Learn episode, we are going to finally turn on the engine, do some calibration, make sure everything is up and running before we start putting the rest of the stuff onto the car. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the alignment together and all fixed up. Now, it's not that difficult, but it is kind of boring to do. All you have to do is get yourself a 14mm uh, spanner and go ahead and peer through the wall of the wheel here until you see this guy here. And what you're going to want to do is you want to tighten or loosen until the wheel starts to tow out. Then just keep tightening or loosening until the thing is completely towed out where you actually cannot move it anymore. So you just keep hitting it, keep hitting it. And as soon as the wheel stops moving, you know you've reached the maximum tow outage. There we go. All right, looks like it's not moving anymore. So now all you have to do is go with the reverse of what you did to get here. So right here, I'm tightening. Now I'm going to loosen 50 times. All right, so that was 50 loosening. So now this thing is completely in place. So we're going to do that for the next one or the other side as well. So we're towing out as much as we can. And then we're going to tow in 50 times. That way we know that both wheels are completely aligned. All right. So these wheels are now completely aligned. Let's move on over to the pistons. All right. Now, after all that work, we are now ready to turn the car on. So let's go ahead and jump in the driver's seat. Get into enter driving mode. And uh, what's going to happen is all the settings are really off. So this car is going to have a really hard time turning on. So let's just give it a try and see what happens. It's not going to work. It's not going to stay on as, as, as well as it's sounding completely terrible. Ooh, I was able to get it up. Nice. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to try to get a little bit of temperature going. And try your best not to listen to that alternator going nuts in the front. So wait till the temperature's up to about half and then go ahead and take care of that alternator. All right, if you've got the right temperature, the car will not stall when you go idle. So go ahead and get out, pop the hood, <laughs> there's no hood, and go ahead and grab your, uh, your screwdriver here. What you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and, and, and loosen until the noise subsides. There we go. No more squealing uh, fan belt. Beautiful. All right, now that the alternator is not squealing a bunch, go ahead and remove the rocker cover. Go ahead and pick yourself up a 7 millimeter spanner and go ahead and remove that one bolt that you tightened earlier. Right click to remove the rocker cover, throw it all to the side, and go ahead and get your screwdriver again. The way to check the uh, the pistons is what you want to do is you want to loosen until you hear uh, a tapping noise like that. As soon as you hear the tapping noise, go one up. That will be the proper the proper calibration for each of the pistons. Loosen, tighten. Keep loosening. As soon as you hear the ticking, go one up. Easy as that. Do it for each one of the pistons. All right, once all of them are ready to go, go ahead and put the rocker cover back on. Then grab your seven again and tighten all the bolts for the rocker cover. Make sure to get the ones in the back. They could be pretty easy to miss. All right, now that the rocker cover is back on, go ahead and loosen the lid and then replenish the oil that uh, you lost when uh, you took the rocker cover off. All right, so it's now time to mess with the carburetor. So the carburetor, you want to make sure you're at half temperature before you start uh, messing around with it. Then go ahead and take a look at the, the color of the exhaust out the back. 
If it's dark, that means it's rich. If it's light in color, that means it's lean. So to change how lean and how, how rich your carburetor is, go ahead and kneel right in front of the car and then lean in right underneath the air filter and you'll see a screw right there. Now, the thing is that I noticed while actually making this video is that the controls are a little bit inverted. If you, if you up mouse wheel, you're going to be loosening the bolt. If you down mouse wheel, you're going to be tightening the bolt. So all I'm going to be saying is loosening and tightening at this point. So because our exhaust was dark, we want to make it more lean. So I'm going to make it super lean so you can see what color it looks like when it's lean. So we're loosening it, we're turning it to the left a bunch of times. You're going to hear some popping if we accelerate, but I'm just going to turn it a whole bunch. You can actually uh, move the throttle or, or increase the throttle from here too by pulling on this lever. It's a little hard to click on, but if you can get it. There you go. Let's give it a, some throttle. You're going to start to hear some misfires. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the what the exhaust looks like. Really, really light, which means we're now in the lean category. So what you need to do to calibrate this is to get it so that the exhaust is as, as clear as possible. Now you're not going to be able to get this exact until you find if until you buy yourself the um, let me show you what that looks like. There is a fuel to air mixture ratio uh, gauge that you can purchase. It's probably one of the first things I would suggest buying for your car. This guy right here, and you really want this number to be about 15.2 after your temperatures at, at you know kind of at the mid range point. It's going to be the maximum what the the radiator is going to allow. But you really want this to be like 15.3. But uh, you don't have that right now, so you basically have to use your eyes and just just to take a look at, you know, whether or not the exhaust is is uh, light or dark. So this actually doesn't seem too light. Let me uh, let me rev it a little bit more and see if we can calibrate it properly. Yeah, again, a lot of misfiring. So let's go ahead and make it more rich. It's hard to see if you're turning it. There we go. So it's just a bit out, bit of, did about eight to the right. Let's see. If I let it on full throttle, does it misfire? All right, we're not getting any misfiring, which is what this is the this is the thing that you need to check. So you have to check to see if it's misfiring, which would mean it's too lean. And then you want to check to see what the exhaust looks like. So this looks a little bit too dark. So let's go ahead and uh, loosen this up. Let's go four, four loose. So one, two, so three, four, five. We went four Titan. Let's see what this looks like now. So we're not getting a misfire. Yeah, we went way too far. All right, so let's go ahead and loosen it up. Just two that time. Just going to make all these small adjustments until the exhaust is as clear as you can make it. All right, let's go three loose. There we go. It's it's pretty white, but as you can see, it's kind of white and black at the same time, and it's not misfiring, which means the carburetor is as good as it's going to get for right now until we have that uh, that gauge. All right, we're now at the point where we can drive this thing around. Let's give it a give it a whirl. Not getting any misfiring. The alignment feels pretty good. It's not veering off to one side. Well, I'm not used to this car without all the modifications on it. This thing feels heavy. 
Well, yeah, we're finally driving the car that we've been building for the last how many hours? This is nice. All right. So now that the car is working, all the parts are in place. Nothing, nothing shot off the back from uh, lack of being tightened. Uh, we're now ready to start putting all the rest of the junk on there. So thank you so much for watching, folks. This is Johnny O Knows, and I've been playing my summer car. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you all in the next episode. See you around.